number two, Masked Attitude, owned by Charles Adam of Springfield. He's the trainer, and Irv Miller is the driver. Number three, Chevy Silverado, owned by Clyde Stevens of Lasseter, Kentucky. Ronnie Guy trains. Dale Heitman will drive. Number four, Tough on Top, owned by John Leahy by Anderson Racing Incorporated and by Robert Ranquist Jr., trained and driven by Joe Anderson. Number five, a Chi-Town legend owned by Robert Grismore and Janet Capron, trained by Robert Grismore with Neil Coleman in the bike. Number six, Mack Drive is owned by Circle Oak Stable of Villa Park. Carl Williams trains, Brent Holland will drive. And number seven, Fox Valley Clem, owned by Joan Steinbrenner and Jane Johnston, trained by Tom Harmer, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number eight, Fox Valley Goalie is owned by Kay Willis of Salem, Nelson Willis, the trainer driver. And Fox Valley Shiaway, number nine, is owned in partnership by Steve Newcomb, Ron Michaelon, Terrence Duffy, trained by Tex Motes, the driver, Andy Miller. Post time on this trifecta race is only five minutes away. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Shy Town Legend and Tough on Top go for the lead. Mac Drive joins them on the far outside. Chevy Silverado comes away racing in fourth, and Masked Attitude is fifth as they move into the turn. Tough on Top makes the lead by a length. Mac Drive is parked in second, and now there he goes, and the lead changes hands again before the quarter. Mac Drive leads it now by a length. Tough on Top is second by a length. Shy town Legend is third, 27 seconds for the opening quarter. Then a gap of eight more lengths to Chevy Silverado in fourth. Mast Attitude is next. Then Fox Valley Clem, Fox Valley Goalie, and Fox Valley Shiaway, who trails the field. On to the backstretch now. Mack Drive, a two-length lead, tough on top is second to length. Here comes Fox Valley Clem moving up on the outside for Tony Morgan. Fox Valley Clem blazes to the front at the half mile mark in 56 and four. He leads it by three parts of a length and Mack Drive will try to keep him parked out past the draw gate. Here comes Tough on top. Anderson says it's time to go and now Tough on top moves up third, a length and a half off the lead. Fox Valley goalie and Chi-Town legend side by side behind him and they're followed by Fox Valley shy away and Chevy Silverado and they're at the three quarter Fox Valley Clem leading it by a half length Mac drive a second here comes tough on top and Anderson is gearing up for a three wide move off the three quarters at 126 and four tough on top with a breathtaking sweep off the far turn instantly he's on top by eight and they're at the eighth pole and Anderson cracks the whip on the shaft of the race bike to keep him alive tough on top by nine late move by Chevy Silverado he's coming Fox Valley shy away third Chevy Silverado chasing tough on top it'll be close Chevy Silverado gets him by a neck tough on top was second shy town legend was third 155 and two to the number two masked attitude past the half mile mark while racing past the draw gate at the end of the back stretch. So the inquiry is pending against the winner. While we're waiting, uh, let's check in with Ed Teefee. Ed? Thank you, Kurt. With me after this race, race number 12 is the owner of Cottonwood Farms and the owner of Cole Muffler, the sire of the unofficial winner here, Chevy Silverado Terry Hunt. Terry, you've won a lot of races here at the Illinois State Fair and uh, Clyde Stevens, who owns this uh, cult, from the center Kentucky one of the big buyers in the Illinois program a gentleman that lives in Kentucky but comes to Illinois every year spends a lot of money in the program it's nice to see a guy like that win a big one well absolutely Clyde's been uh, really good for our program and and for Cottonwood in in particular uh, unfortunately he couldn't make it today his uh, mother's not feeling well I talked to Ronnie before the race and uh, hopefully this will cheer both of them up thank you Terry and good luck uh, to your stallion Cole Muffler in the in the finals uh, Terry Hunt from Cottonwood Farm Thank you, Ed. So the inquiry is pending. The result, 3-4-5, is still unofficial.